Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another cool mod today and this mod is called the solar energy mod for minecraft 1.2.5 Basically what this mod does is that it adds in new solar panels into our minecraft game with these solar panels You can now receive sunlight and give yourself energy around your world If your solar panel is hitting direct sunlight any redstone current around it will lit up it acts as a power source So if you notice I placed myself down a log so therefore the solar panel can no longer receive any more energy from the Sun so the redstone turned off now what I'm holding is a light detector so when I step on top of the solar panel you'll notice that the number changed to 14 that's because there's a log on top of me which makes it darker for the solar panel when you go underneath water you'll notice that the number keeps on going lower until it hits zero meaning there's no light level there if you go underneath a tree it will do the same exact thing the number will get lower all solar panels will at least need a number 15 light level in order for it to work. Now another cool block is this solar furnace. It is 33% slower than an average furnace because it runs on no fuel and it just requires sunlight. That's it. So you could be cooking your raw beef in the sun and it will totally work. But it's just 33% slower but it's totally worth it. So since the sun's up there, how about we just place a block on top of the furnace and see what happens. Maybe it'll stop working. Um. Wow. My game crashed. What? Okay, so that didn't seem to work out fine. That's a little small bug, but let me place down a solar furnace right here. And if you notice, there's a yellow little block right there. That means that the sunlight is directly hitting the furnace, meaning it will work. So let me make it nighttime. And my game froze again? Oh, come on. The furnace is cursed. <laughs> it's okay, that's all I can really say. It's kind of buggy at the moment, but you know, it'll soon be fixed and it'll work properly very soon. Maybe uh, Grim will find out the errors and fix those problems. But overall, this mod is really cool. There is a lot of uses that you can use for the light detector, such as when you have yourself a farm, you could see the light level around your farm. If you want to know where mobs spawn, you could use the light level to see exactly where uh, mobs will spawn, depending on how dark the area is located at so yes you can surround a solar panel with redstone so you could have redstone current going everywhere so I thought of a very useful idea for the solar panel since when it's daytime your door will eventually open up and when it's nighttime the door will close now let's make it nighttime and the, the furnace did it again okay so now I'm back this furnace is super buggy where's my meat okay so I'm not gonna be messing with the solar furnace anymore it, it did it again now about that idea I had, so in a basic house you will like it where when it's daytime the doors will open and you could go out, you know, work on your farm, and when it's nighttime the door will close, therefore mobs can't really go inside your house. So if you place down a solar panel, it will work that way. There is no bugs as long as you don't have that evil furnace around you. So now let me change it to nighttime, and there we go, the door did close. That means that it totally works, and it's really easy to redstone wire this. It's not really that complicated. So now let's make it daytime, and let's see what happens. The door will open. There we go, that's perfect. So we could just enter at daytime, and it will close during the nighttime. So it will be much easier instead of just closing your door. It will be pretty cool. Unless you lock yourself out, that would really suck. But there is a redstone current. It's very simple and it's not really that hard to make. Maybe somebody could find use of this. Alright, so that's basically it. This mod is really cool. There's only a few bugs, but it's just the evil furnace. There's nothing wrong with the solar panels and the light detectors. But overall, this mod is really awesome. If you guys want this world download, links in description. It's really cool. It has like waterfalls and a lot of trees. So you can get that in my description. And also, thank you guys so much for rating my video. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna soon make another video out for today and yes, I'm gonna be looking forward to that. So guys, let's go ahead and install this mod. It's really easy. Alright, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod is really easy to install so we shouldn't have any errors. But the first thing I'm gonna want to do of course before installing this mod is to go here to options and force ultimate game. The reason why I'm gonna force ultimate game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods. If it's not compatible, you will get black screen and you won't be happy. So options force update and login to download a brand new Minecraft thought jar in which we're gonna mod. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this updating so I'm gonna minus this and you're gonna get the downloads from my description you're gonna get mod loader and the solar energies mod and just drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better and let's go ahead and install this mod
we're gonna go here to start search your program file we're gonna type in percent app data percent and for Windows XP users you should see here run and you run percent data percent and it should take you up here to the roaming folder click on the roaming folder and you should see dot minecraft from the very top when you go into your dot minecraft folder you're gonna see bin resources save and everything else go ahead and go into your bin folder before you open up your minecraft thought jar that's located in your bin folder you have to make sure you have your minecraft game closed Here's my Minecraft game that I just forced updated. You have to exit off your Minecraft game before installing any mod. So exit off your Minecraft game. Now you're going to right click your Minecraft thought jar that's located in your bin folder. Open with WinRAR or any 7 zip opener. If you don't have WinRAR, links in the description. So go ahead and open that up with WinRAR and move it aside. The first thing you have to do, of course, before installing any mods is to delete meta imp. You have to delete meta imp. So right click meta imp and delete files. Say yes and delete meta imp. Now meta imp has gone. Now we can continue. You're going to open up Mall Loader. So go ahead and open up Mall Loader and move that aside. You're going to highlight all the files from Mall Loader and simply drag it into the Minecraft thought jar side. Add and replace, press OK, and you are done with Mall Loader. Go ahead and exit off Mall Loader and move it aside. Now you need Solar Energy. Go ahead and double click that and move it aside. You're going to highlight the files from Solar Energy and simply drag it into your Minecraft thought jar side. Add and replace, press OK, and that's it. All you have to do is just highlight the files and drag it into your Minecraft thought jar. If you have any errors, any problems, go ahead and report it on my help forums. I'll be sure to help you out. So go into your Minecraft game and log in. And you won't receive any of the solar panel items. You have to craft them yourself because in creative mode, they won't show up. So either install too many items or do something else. So look, I was having fun uh, by myself making me some iron doors. Yeah, that's really cool. So anyways, if you notice in my inventory, I do have myself the light detector. In creative mode, you will receive yourself the light detector as an item. So so uh, yes, you could have that item, but the rest you have to craft or install too many items. So that's basically it. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this mod. Uh, this is pretty useful. The light detector, I really like how they did this. You can just go underneath trees and you can see how light levels, uh, you know, affecting the trees and all that stuff. So anyways, thank you guys for uh, watching this video. I really appreciate all your guys' uh, support. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you. <laughs> Hey man, it's your buddy Porkchop. You like the music in the video? Go ahead and subscribe to Josh Woodward right there, the green box. If you like the review or the tutorial, go ahead and subscribe to my buddy SEM Owens. They're both nice people. They like me, they call me Porkchop, and they think I'm really cool. Just look at my eyes, look what I can do with them. Pretty awesome, right? Anyways, go ahead and subscribe to one of those too. It doesn't matter which one, maybe both, you know? Maybe you're that cool. Come on, man.